Right, so this is my first video on YouTube. Um, I've had a bit of a mission creep. Let me explain. So I started maybe a year and a half ago with some faceless videos. Um, that was like an experiment and I wasn't really happy the way things were going so I stopped all of that. And then from there I had a bit of a break and recently, maybe about six weeks ago, I started podcasting and I put my podcasts on YouTube, Spotify, Apple, all of those other platforms. And I'd love to talk a little bit about how that's going. Um, the journey's just started. But anyway, as I started doing that, I realized, hell, why not also make these shorter form videos, maybe 10, 15 minute videos, because that will give me a bit of a better opportunity to get to know you guys a bit better and interact um, and engage with you guys a bit more, because I would love to know a bit more um, in depth about who my audience are, what your likes and dislikes are, and maybe we can share experiences. I've got a feeling there might be a number of you who are also either thinking of starting your YouTube journey or who have already started. Um, so let's discuss that and help each other along. So before I talk about you guys and maybe how I can help you um, and similarly how you can help me, um, let me just tell you a little bit about who I am, where I started, um, and then we can talk more in depth in future videos. My, my name is Tafim Kiani. I'm based in the UK, um, near London, and basically I have been doing e-commerce for a number of years. I have my own Amazon agency where we manage Amazon accounts of other clients and brands around the world. So that's kind of where I started from in some ways. Um, in in route to that, I've also started a number of other businesses that I'm involved in, in different capacities and at different levels. And I'd love to kind of share those experiences with you as well. But for now, um, we're here on YouTube and I'm finding this really interesting and really exciting. So I think from what I've understood so far, and I've only, I'm only like six podcasts in at the moment, but I think YouTube is not just a great uh, platform, it's exciting, um, but it's, it offers so many opportunities, um, not just in terms of the ad revenue. I think that's a good thing to have. I think Amazon, uh, sorry, Google, YouTube has a very generous um, partnership program and we can talk about that. But I think that's just a small element of everything. There's so many other aspects, there's so many opportunities on YouTube. And I can, I can tell you why it took me so long to get to where I am now. One of the reasons is I hate seeing myself on the camera. I hate listening to myself on the camera. And that's why initially I started thinking, hey, why not start a faceless um, YouTube channel? Um, and in future future episodes, I'd love, love to talk a bit more about that, what the pros and cons were and why I stopped that. But anyway, I did stop that, um, had a bit of a break. And then the reason I started podcasting is because, first of all, podcasting was a new thing on YouTube. And I could tell that YouTube is going to be pushing that um, somewhat aggressively because um, longer for format videos has the capacity to put in so many more ads and the more ads we have the better it is for YouTube and obviously the better it is for content creators as well um, so I could tell that initially YouTube was like big on shorts but I think with shorts is difficult for a platform let me just pause a second I'm sorry I paused because I'm, I live near um, a railway line and it's a hot day today and I have the window open and the train was going by. So anyway, um, what I was saying is that um, I think shorts became a big thing on YouTube, um, especially after TikTok came um, along and YouTube saw uh, competition there and they pushed on shorts quite a bit. But then I might be wrong, tell me what you think, but I think at that stage they realized shorts are popular with the audience but it's actually bloody hard to get like a get ad revenue um, on shorts from a platform point of view and that's when they started uh, moving a bit away from shorts and into podcasting um, podcasts is 
is a growing trend um, on all platforms and it's also a great opportunity for platforms to earn more revenue. Um, so that's, that was my kind of thought process and then the reason I personally wanted to jump into podcasting is because well with podcasting you don't really need to have a video um, you can just have you can just record audio and that's where I started but then YouTube sucked me in because basically I started my podcast maybe the first three or four podcasts as audio only but then I, my, I myself started thinking actually if I'm going to do this I might as well start recording my videos and even if I don't use them on all the platforms all the time at least I can use them to start extracting some shorts from them as well um, because otherwise creating shorts alone is time consuming or if you want to outsource that to someone it is quite expensive because you do need like I don't know um, I was trying to get like three or four shorts out of every episode of the podcast I was making and that's time consuming if you're making it from scratch and it's expensive if you're outsourcing it to someone which is what I'm doing and I can explain why um, maybe I'll explain that now basically um, as it happens I'm legally blind so apart from anything else I just am not capable of doing video editing myself and that's why I don't want to waste time on that and I can outsource that to someone else and then I can concentrate on the things that I am good at um, so yeah with every challenge I think there's an opportunity and it just frees up my time um, I've actually got a good team of video editors with me um, they're doing a, a brilliant job uh, not, not just with video editing but also audio editing audio editing I think is a big thing and especially on YouTube uh, personally I think it's more important to have the audio right than the video right um, and yet so many people concentrate so much on the video aspect of things and maybe I just can't appreciate that because I can't see the videos um, but we'll talk about all of that stuff in more detail in episodes to come what I wanted to talk about today is before I started recording this video I was thinking how can I help my audience because whenever I work with someone whether that's like a freelancer if I hire someone um, I, I try to think not just of in terms of transactional relationship um, I try to think of like how we can help each other more in depth um, over and beyond um, the bare minimum um, so in, in that regards what I'm thinking is there must be ways where I can I do really appreciate all of you guys I'm, I'm actually really surprised that just I'm, I'm six or seven episodes in and I've already got almost 190 subscribers um, and I think I think about 300 or so watch hours so for me that's amazing um, and I really do appreciate that what I'm thinking is how can I how can I help you guys and what I'm thinking is first of all I'd love to know what, who you guys are where you're based well I know where you're based a bit a bit about where you're based from the statistics that we get on on YouTube um, but I'd love to know what your interests are are you on YouTube do you have your own channels are you thinking of having your own channels do you have your own businesses what are your likes what are your hobbies because what I'm thinking is I had a few different ideas tell me please in the comments what you think of these and if you have any other ideas how I can help you okay so idea number one is this as I mentioned to you I have an e-commerce business I work with different brands um, globally and a number of those brands they from time to time um, they send me a lot of merchandise um, products that I'm helping sell for them um, so I have those in in stockpiles and I'm thinking from time to time I'd like to send some of the things out to you guys what I'm not entirely sure about it at the moment is how do we interact I think and because this is all new for me I think um, I can add my email address on my YouTube profile and then we can maybe have some like weekly competitions or contests um, and select people who I can ship out items to so that's one thing let me know what you think about that and let me know what the challenges might be um, for that in terms of logistics and stuff how do we interact with each other I know on on YouTube we have the the community side of things where we can put on posts I haven't really started that properly yet but if if that helps I can start start doing that as well so anyway so that's one idea 
<coughs> now the other idea I have in mind is that one second. Now the other idea I have in mind is that right now I am not monetized. Okay, so I don't have any sponsorships. I have a sponsorship you might have seen or heard on my podcast podcast episodes that my sponsor is actually the Worldwide Listings Company Limited, which is actually my own company, um, which is completely separate from YouTube. And that company, funds I'm using funds from that company to help me along in my YouTube journey. So in some ways, that company is my sponsor. So I kind of introduced that, that company as my sponsor in, in every episode. But what I'm thinking is this, if you guys have your own business, if you have your own channels, if you have anything that would benefit from like a, a shout out, then how about this? Every week I can select one of you guys, tell me about your business and I will mention it in the podcast if that helps you. Because as, as the channel grows, we're going to get more audience. Um, whatever we put in here is going to be here permanently until I get to a stage until or, and unless I get to a stage where I look back and I'm really embarrassed by the quality of my videos and I start taking them off like a lot of people do on YouTube. But I'm going to try not to do that because sometimes I go back, I look at big channels and I try and go back to where they started to see what they were like when they started. But I quite often get disappointed that they actually took away um, those early episodes and I can see why obviously because when you're new you don't have the equipment you don't have the confidence things don't really look that great but you start somewhere um, and when you get to a stage where um, you're like on a completely different level you might want to just kind of disassociate yourself from that past I'm going to try not to do that because I think for you um, for new youtubers it is really beneficial to see the whole journey of of um, content creators to see where they started and how far they got to. So I'm gonna actually, anyway, so I'm gonna keep, try and keep those episodes on. Now the thing is, as long as those episodes are on, um, <clears throat> and as my, my channel grows, which hopefully it will over time, as long as it grows, we're going to get more and, view, more, and more views for each past episode as well. And as that happens, um, when people look at those videos, they will be able to look at your um, the shout out that I have for your businesses as well. So hopefully that will benefit you. Tell me what you think um, And we can even talk about the different formats. Okay, that's one thing. The other thing is so that was number two That's idea number two. Let me just take a second To introduce our sponsors for today. This episode today has kindly been sponsored by the Worldwide Listings Company Limited or WLC for short WLC is a London-based Amazon consultancy agency they specialize in everything to do with sales on Amazon. So that includes everything from product research, supplier sourcing, keyword research, listing creation, image editing, video editing, advertising management, inventory management, shipping, logistics, and warehousing. So if you're currently thinking of starting your own Amazon brand, or even if you're an existing brand wanting to broaden your horizons and either go into new marketplaces or other platforms, then do get in touch. WLC is just what you need. WLC also is an Amazon partner agency. Amazon has recently started a program whereby they can partner with select agencies to provide extra support to qualifying sellers, absolutely free of cost. So if this is something that interests you, then do get in touch and let's see how we can help you. As my appreciation to you for being an early supporter of our podcast, I would like to take this opportunity to offer you a special deal today. Get in touch through the links in the description and quote Kianistan when you speak to someone. If you're a new seller, we can provide you free consultancy. And if you're an existing seller, we can provide you a free complete audit and analysis of your account and a strategy that you can implement to further enhance and improve your account. Not only this, we can also offer you one month complete free Amazon account management services. This is a great deal and it'll offer you hundreds of pounds worth of savings that you can use either on your ads or your inventory. So you have absolutely nothing to lose. There's no contracts to sign and you can walk away anytime you like along with the audit and strategy we provide you with. And if you like, you can implement that yourself or use it as a yardstick to measure the performance of your management team. I thank you again for supporting Kianistan and now let's get back to the episode. Idea number three is this. If there's some of you out there with interesting um, stories, 
if you've followed my episodes, my podcast so far, um, you'll know that I have like a, I haven't really selected a niche for myself. And I know that's something that everyone recommends that we should do, but I'm just kind of trying to um, maybe be a bit rebellious. I know it's, it is really beneficial to have a narrow, a narrowed down niche, but I haven't done that yet simply because I have so many different interests and when I started this channel, I didn't start it thinking this is going to be like a revenue generating um, venture. I started it with other things in mind. Um, things like I wanted to learn, I wanted to, I wanted to speak with different people, I wanted to meet different people. This is why I love podcasting because I get to meet experts in different areas and I wanted to engage and learn from different people um, in areas that interest me. So my background is I have a master's in international relations. That's why I have geopolitics in my podcast. Um, obviously business, religion, I'm from a Muslim background. So I like to talk to people about that. And I like to talk, talk to people about um, emerging technology, um, things that are coming up in terms of software, hardware, all sorts of med medicine and those technologies. So if any of those things, oops, sorry, that's, so if anyway, so if any of those things interest you, um, not interest you, I'm sorry, if any of those things are things that you might personally be engaged in, then how about I invite you onto my future podcast? Uh, I think that'll be a really good opportunity for me to meet you. We'll have an interesting discussion, a conversation, and it will give you a platform to to reach out to a new audience as well. So how about that? So that's idea number three. And then idea number four is that I can, free of cost, I can have maybe once every, once a fortnight or something, tell me about yourself. Tell me about your business. Tell me what you'd like to do. Tell me, let me pause here. Let me take this call and I'll come right back. I'm sorry, that was my daughter calling me. But anyway, um, where were we? So what I was saying is once a fortnight, how about I have a video just dedicated to you and your business, whether that's your YouTube channel or whether that's your business off YouTube, um, whether it's an online business or a business on the high street, whatever it may be. Because um, as um, what I've realized is, um, as I mentioned to you, I have an Amazon um, consultancy business where we help other brands and sellers on Amazon and other platforms, eBay, Shopify, um, Etsy, all of those things. And quite often we've been looking for influencers for those businesses and it can cost quite a lot. Um, and I, can, I understand how for new businesses that cost is prohibitive. It's, you, you can't really, um, it's not something that you can afford, but also it's something that may not have immediate benefit. It has more of like a slower, long, longer term benefit. Um, so if that's something I can offer you, if I can help you with that absolutely free of cost at this moment in time, then why not? Um, as I said, I'm not monetized. I don't have any sponsors. Um, I really, really appreciate you guys um, support and everything so if there's a way I can support you in return then let's do that and I was actually quite happy when I thought of these things because this isn't something I've heard anyone else say so I think for me this is a brand new thing so I'm quite proud of myself I'm gonna tap myself on the back um, let me know let me know your thoughts okay please do leave comments and let's stay in touch what i'm going to do is i'm going to so on every monday i'm I'm trying to stay consistent with my podcasting i have a pet podcast episode coming up every monday and what i'm going to do is i'm going to try to have one of these videos released every friday so please do leave a comment i'm going to read every comment myself personally and i'm going to re reply to you and i'd love to know your background and how we can help each other okay thank you so much and speak soon